I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process on all different aspects of paintings. In this particular case, it's going to be a cat. So if, if that's something you're interested in, then stay with me. And after this quick introduction, you, I invite you to join me in the studio. too much about that. I'm going to change this pupil to a bit of a I just made it a little bit, bit smaller and just moved it up a touch. Just taking the excess off my brush. I just want to fade that up. back into green now a little bit of gesso into the green just lighten that green up a touch It's all about playing and building and playing and building and we will eventually get there trust me I'm doing this from the top of my head so that's not always easy it's been a long time since I've actually sat down and painted a pet portrait or an animal because I've been so busy um, doing tutorials that they don't get much chance to paint at all now and I'm trying to keep this as simple as I possibly can without making it too complicated for you so I'm just very lightly now the residual amount that I've got on the brush just going over that blue and I'm pulling out a little bit of dark fur there picking up a little bit more paint and just I, I've, I've I've put the I got the brush and I've gone like that and I've got it I chiseled the edge on it so I'm just going to go very very lightly through like that just dry brushing over the blue again there's no paint on my brush very little it's just what's left on it I'll get that eye right now in a minute I'm still not quite happy with that pupil, so I'm going to go back into my green that I've made. And I'm going to adjust that eye. That's a good thing with acrylic. If you if if you're not satisfied, you can adjust. I 
going straight into pure sap green now. And uh, let's just put a touch of black to that. So I just want to darken the green down, make it into a shade. Yes. Just put a couple of darker spots here and there and there and here. Wash my brush. Going back into that black mix. Very thin mix now. I have just taken some residual amount off my brush with my kitchen roll before I went into the paint. What I'm going to do is just going to go very precariously across there like that and down like that a bit. Wash my brush again. What I'm trying to do there is what I said um, here is that shadow there, which is um, there. So this is what we're trying to get there. I'm blending that in now, wet on wet. Going back into my blue again, and I'm just going to re-emphasize Just down that edge there. Okay, without making it too complicated, um, I'm just going to go straight into my burnt umber now. And again, mixing a bit of black to that now, into the corner. Take as residual amount off my brush. And I'm just going to pull that out. And you can see that I've already started to develop some fur patterns and we're not talking about hair and fur here but I just want to give myself some sort of a thing to work to. I'm just going to touch in a bit of gesso now. Um, I know it might look strange, but trust me, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> just want to lighten up a couple of areas. And as I said, this is a, a, a blocking in stage, so don't worry, overly worry about it. I'm just going to bring in a bit of blue back into it. I'm going to put a bit more black, a bit more blue, and a nice blue black. And again, I'm just going to go now. Let's drop that in there. Like that. Just going to go in 
And before I finish this particular part of the lesson, I'm just going to go straight into some plain Mars black. And then I'm going to sharpen that edge. Oops. 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 <laughs> yeah, a bit of kitchen roll. Dab it off. What it was there, I got my paint a little bit thin. Um, so I've gone, I've gone back into the paint now, but I got a bit thicker. You can see why I've got very fine detail brushes for this. You can spend hours on eyes and noses and and this is what I'm saying that it's not easy to to do this type of painting if um, you're a complete 100% beginner. And um, as I said, just before I finish, I'm just going to All I'm doing is a very thin wash, not wash, very thin paint. I'm just drag in some detail, very fine detail in. Just to give myself a guide, this is more of a guide than anything. Okay, so I'm going to leave it at that for this particular lesson. Oh, my tea is going cold. <laughs> As you see, I've taken the eye, uh, building it. It's it's like a mini painting all on its own. That is, yes, it is. So you can spend. I've spent sometimes two hours on eyes, three hours on eyes, it all depends how detailed I need these. Now don't panic if this is a beginner. I don't want to paint the cat, I just want to paint the cat. Don't panic. I need to show the the, the techniques that I'm using in these broken down into elements. There's no point me just painting a big cat and you know you're going to go oh how do I paint an eye? Because I, inevitably you're going to say how do I paint the eye? How do I paint the ears? How do I get the nose right? So what I thought I'd do is, like, I, like I'm doing now, I'm breaking each element down into a little mini lesson then, if you would. And then when we come to paint the cat, it's going to be easy. It is. It is. Because you've already done the hard work. Now what I suggest you do is practice that. And give it a week. 
there's not going to be another lesson on the eye now for a, tw for a week um, because the next element will be a landscape one so I'm going to do a pet portrait or animal and then a landscape and an animal then a landscape then an animal then a landscape the reason I'm doing that is because it gives you chance to practice um, these are elements and that's the most important thing this is how I teach and I hope it's come across so um, yes thank you very much don't forget to press the little card button on the corner here um, if you press the corner it'll come down if you're on an iPad or a mobile phone device and you want to look at different playlists I put there or you want to go and visit my website to support me then please feel free to do that um, there are annotations as well I'll put some links um, onto the side here if you want to press them if you're on the PC um, if you haven't got access to that then all those playlists and what's in the cards and what's on the annotations are going to be down in the descriptions you need to press a little upside down triangle and I also invite you to press the subscribe button which is above my head there's an annotation on that if that doesn't work there's a little subscribe button very similar to that one that is below so thank you very much for joining me in the studio today and I will see you on the next animal element where we'll be continuing the eye and then we'll be moving on the stage so if that's if you're happy to do that as absolutely brilliant next week there will be another element where we're going to be looking at a landscape and we're going to be concentrating on an element in there so thank you very much for watching my name is Clyde from Clyde's Art I'm going to have my cup of tea I will see you shortly have a good day a good week a good month a good year because I don't know exactly when you're going to be watching this and may your God go with you nice don't forget to give me that thumbs up bye